हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू प्लस वन पॉलिटिकल साइंस क्लास टुडे आई विल कंटिन्यू विद लेसन थ्री द ओरिजिन ऑफ द स्टेट द ऑब्जेक्टिव्स ऑफ टुडे क्लास आर सोशल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट थ्योरी इट्स मीनिंग फीचर्स ऑफ द थ्योरी ओपिनियन ऑफ पॉलिटिकल थिंकर्स हॉब्स लॉ एंड रूजो दीज आर थ्री पोलिटिकल थिंकर्स बिफोर द डिस्कशन ऑफ टूडेज टॉपिक I will discuss the key terms with you. The first key term is anarchy, means a state of disorder. Justification, the action of showing something to be right. Contract, agreement and foreseeable by law. Fraternity, a group of people showing common interest. Limitation, legal restriction. Now. i will discuss the topic yesterday i started the new chapter that is the origin of the state i informed you that i will discuss three theories of the origin of the state i already have discussed yesterday the divine origin theory of state and today i will discuss the social contract theory of the state as early man came on the earth he lived in the lap of nature that time there was no state the early man decided to end this state of nature either because of the difficulties experienced that time or due to the fact that such a living led to anarchy and chaos consequently they entered into a social contract which led to the birth of a state now students you can understand the state had contractual origin the state was made like a machine by the people living in the prehistoric state of nature so according to this theory state was a human institution and not a divine institution it came into existence through a voluntary contract made by the people this theory was rejected by political thinkers like plato and aristotle but in the 17th and 18th centuries well known political thinkers like hobbes locke and rousseau came with social contract theory all of them strongly advocated that state originated by means of social contract i have discussed the basic idea of social contract theory now i will discuss the features of social contract theory in detail the first feature is that originally people used to live in the state of nature under this point you have to understand that originally people used to live a natural state means the state of nature in which there was present neither a state nor government it was a pre political and pre social stage now i will discuss the second point and that is life in the state of nature as already i told you there are three supporters of this theory of social contract they all have given their own reason that supports this theory now i will discuss their theory in detail and according to hobbes there was anarchy and chaos in the society and there was might was right and survival of the fittest was a rule on the other hand locke says that it was the state of peace and order that was the base going on that was the base of natural rights men lived peacefully but had some difficulties now these difficulties were there with the men and to overcome these difficulties they decided to end the state of nature still others like rousseau he believed that initially it was a stage of full freedom 
हाउ एवर लेटर ड्यू टू द बर्थ ऑफ सेल्फिशनेस देर वर सम फैमिली डिस्प्यूट ऑब्वियसली सेल्फिशनेस विल रिजल्ट इन टू फैमिली डिस्प्यूट एंड इट रिजल्टेड इन अनारकी एंड क्योस नेचुरली द पीपल वॉन्टेड टू गेट रिड ऑफ इट सो ऑल द थ्री पोलिटिकल थिंकर्स बिलीव दैट ड्यू टू क्योस एंड अनारकी इन द स्टेट ऑफ नेचर इट वॉज डिसाइडेड टू कम आउट ऑफ इट होप यू आर क्लियर अबाउट दिस फीचर ऑफ लाइफ इन द स्टेट ऑफ नेचर एंड हाउ इट रिजल्टेड इन द सोशल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट now i will discuss next feature related to the same feature and that is the social contract end of the state of nature and birth of the state as already discussed for ending the state of nature a social contract was made by people here again i will discuss the views of the three political thinkers locke advocated there were two contracts one civil and other was political he says state had its birth from the civil contract and the government was born out of the political contract now on the other side there are opinion of hobbes and rousseau they say that there was a single contract and that was a social contract so all these thinkers have given their different versions of the social contract that state was the creation of human will students i have discussed the features of the social contract theory now i will discuss separately the opinion of these political thinkers now i will talk about the political thinker separately now you will listen them very carefully okay now about hobbes i will discuss first hobbes says he has been one of the very important political thinker of the modern period he was firm believer in the concept of absolute sovereignty of the state and its ruler he supported the position of the king in the struggle for the supremacy between the british king and the british parliament but hobbes views that state is a man made machine rather state is a natural human institution that has evolved naturally through historical process of evolution however hobbes social contract theory did one good job and that is he gave a death blow to the divine origin theory of state this was all about hobbes theory now i will discuss about locke's theory now john locke theory was built in complete contrast to hobbes theory of social contract in the struggle between british parliament and british king Locke supported the cause of the British Parliament. Locke supported the sovereignty of community and their right to change the rulers. Locke was an individualist, and his ideas gave a solid foundation to the philosophy of individualism. Because of this, Locke earned himself. the title of father of individualism in glorious revolution locke's theory gave recognition to the supremacy of parliament of england and its right to have a ruler of its own choice like we have in democracy fine locke's reasoning helped the process of development of theory of democratic government students i have discussed with you locke's theory also now i will discuss rousseau's theory rousseau's social contract theory rousseau adopted the social contract theory and favored the sovereignty he influenced the french revolutionaries in adopting 
लिबर्टी इक्वालिटी एंड फ्रेटर्निटी एज देयर मोटो बट रूजो फेल्ड टू मेक अ डिस्टिंक्शन बिटवीन स्टेट सोसाइटी एंड गवर्नमेंट अकॉर्डिंग टू हिम द सोशल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एंड द स्टेट ऑफ नेचर एंड लेट टू द बर्थ ऑफ सिविल सोसाइटी सो रूजोस थ्यूरी कैन नॉट बी एक्सेप्टेड एज ए वैलिड थ्यूरी ऑफ द ओरिजिन एंड नेचर ऑफ द स्टेट सो फाइनली आई कैन से दैट सोशल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट थ्यूरी इज नॉट ए वैलिड थ्यूरी एंड इट फेज correctly to explain the origin of the state even it has been unsuccessful in presenting an acceptable theory of origin nature and functions of state students today i have discussed second theory of origin of state that is social contract theory in detail with its features and opinion of political thinkers tomorrow i discuss the third theory of the origin of the state today you will revise the topic and do the snap homework questions till then goodbye and thank you